Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So today I'm showing you guys kind of my daily routine. Now I put that in quotes because of the fact that every single day it's different. For example, not everybody gets fed every day. Um, not everybody needs certain types of cleanings every day. For example, like today I didn't... Um, need to spot clean the guinea pig cage i needed to completely clean it out they get their entire cage cleaned out twice a week so um usually i would just spot clean it but today it needed a complete clean out um and then some pets don't need to use the bathroom every day so i don't need to spot clean that for them every day so just a little disclaimer, also not everybody eats the same things every day. So what you see my dragons, for example, eating today will not be what they get tomorrow. So I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there so that people weren't like, hmm, you know. So um, I'm going to start off with feeding the pets that get fed in the mornings and then we'll go on from there. Hi guys, so um, editing Gracie here. Really quick, I just want to say that I'm actually going to start off with my clip of me cleaning my guinea pig cage. When I refilmed my intro earlier, I accidentally skipped that part, like saying that I was starting off with that. So I just wanted to give you guys like a disclaimer, I guess, really quick. So that is actually what I'm doing, and then it'll get into feeding the pets. So enjoy! So here's what we got with the guinea pig cage. Got their tile. Got their hide, their waters, food and hay. So yeah. Also another little disclaimer, I'm running low on some of the different uh, fresh greens and fresh produce for the pets. So, um, I believe tomorrow's the day that I go to the store to get more, but, um, I just wanted to give that heads up because they aren't getting a huge variety today. Like, for example, the guinea pigs are getting, um, some romaine today and then some little matchstick carrot things. And the bearded dragons are having Napa cabbage and the carrots. So I just wanted to give that disclaimer that usually they have more stuff each day. It's just... I'm, I'm running low, which happens. Um, some stuff somehow ended up going bad super fast, so I was a little behind. I usually have enough that it lasts me for a while, but it lasted a little bit of a shorter span this time, but that's okay because they can have this stuff and it'll be fine for them to have a little bit less like fancy stuff for one day. So I just wanted to give that little disclaimer as to why it's more of a basic kind of food for everybody today. So I'm going to start off with feeding the guinea pigs, which I'll show you now. So I'm not really sure what happened, but um, apparently my phone didn't or wasn't recording them eating. So here's them eating the little bit that's left. Uh, sorry about that, but um, you can still see them eating and being super cute. So now I'm going to be separating out the dragon food. This is Fitzroy, wow. This is Fitzroy's bowl, this is Flynn's. So, start with this. Anything that's too big, I'm going to wrap up a little more because when you cut it, it sometimes ends up not cutting all of it, I guess, I don't know. But a lot of the strands end up still being a little long, which freaks me out a little bit. So I'm just gonna 
Whip it up a little bit more. Give him some of his carrots. If it's is getting a little extra carrots, then Flynn will. Um, Fitz has never really, like, gained too much weight, if that makes sense. He always stays on the slightly thinner side, so I do feed him a little bit more than Flynn, as Flynn, and I'm sure you guys have seen him, uh, doesn't quite need as much, which is also why he won't be getting as many carrots. I mean, he still gets enough. They're just smaller. So now we have that, and this is going to go to the feeder insects and hermit crabs. Actually, it needs a tiny bit more. So also disclaimer, when you see Fitzroy eat, it's going to look like he's never had a meal before. So uh, prepare yourself for that. Here is the calcium of the day gonna sprinkle some of that on there also I'm not really sure how much of this Flynn will eat even if he eats any because he is starting to go into brumation so here we go we're gonna feed Flynny Flynn first just gonna put it like right there so that he can kind of see it and we'll just have to check back in on that okay so <laughs> as you might be able to tell from the way he's looking around. Um, I already handed him some pieces, as you can see here. Let me just fill in that gap. So now he's gonna get his salad. He gets so excited. He loves his salad so much. He's such a good eater. Good boy. At least usually. Sometimes he's kind of a butt and won't eat. That's right, I'm talking about you. So, we will now be moving on on to the other pets okay i know this is a daily routine video and i'm feeding everybody right now but like look how cute he is there's atlas just saying hello hi buddy he actually might want breakfast sometimes he's really weird and wants his food in the morning so we will offer him some after i finish feeding others so now some of this is going to the hermit crabs, which I'm sure if any of you guys know much about hermit crabs, you know that people typically feed them towards the end of the day since they are nocturnal, so they won't be eating it till nighttime. But most of the time, I will end up feeding mine in the mornings because it's kind of when I feed everybody else. Also, I know I'm giving them a lot of stuff. It's because... Um, one of my crabs, Starla, even though she never eats at all, she likes to take a bunch of the food and go hide it around the tank so that um, she can find it and eat it whenever. She, I don't know why she does it, but she's like that. So I always give extra because she always grabs it and runs as everybody else is trying to get something. So <laughs> they have extra. Um, and now I'm going to put the rest of their stuff with their food. So this is their final meal. So they have some of the cabbage, the carrots, they have some cricket, dried cricket pieces, some millet. I sprinkled this calcium over everything, and this part is not the best part, which you can see there was a bit of a mess back here from it. Um, when I can't give them some sort of fresh meat, uh, this is going to sound pretty gross, and I don't know how you guys will really feel about it. But um, I cut up pieces of feeder insects for them, like so that they can have something more fresh. So uh, that's that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put their food in, which I'm going to actually do that part off camera because the way their tank lid is, it's kind of hard to show you. Okay, so there you go. You can see their food is in there. Also, you can see we officially have their sand mix that I was telling you guys about. So, and it doesn't really look like it, but I promise I mixed it all in with water when I did it. It still holds its shape. Um, so yeah, which if you know anything about hermit crabs, like as far as care, you know that that needs to be able to where you ball it in a fist and it stays um, that shape. So I did that. 
it still is good and they are all up so I actually like to go through and kind of clean it out and make sure that it's still like that which I'll be doing probably tomorrow just to make sure that they're steadily up. So now the rest of this is going to my feeders. I know it's not really much but um, it's just what they're getting today. Usually I put more aside for them but since I'm low on stuff I didn't really have too much to give in the first place. I'm gonna lock that down there. And now for the other bin. Both of my super worm, super worm bins are fed. I only have super worms at the moment. Uh, my mealworms are gone. And um, I don't have any crickets right now. So this is what we have right now. I need to order some more. Soon. What are you what are you doing, bud? I need to order more insects soon, obviously. So uh, that's what we have right now, though. Again, this is my turtle's food today. Um, so now we're just prepping it while he does his thing. As you can see, his water is starting to get a little low. This isn't completely submerged, so I'm going to be fixing that later. But first, I want to put this back because I prefer it in this corner. And I know that he's going to move it, which is really good exercise, I guess you could say, or enrichment for him. So I like to tuck it back in the corner and then he will later try to push it around. And um, tomorrow is the day that I'm going to be cleaning out all of this. Because it's starting to not be so pretty. So I just have to wait for... Oh! Okay, it's, uh, it's done. Plop. Oh man, they actually were in too long. I prefer for them to float, because that's usually what he prefers. Oh, 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 buddy, that was a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna smash them up just a bit. Oh, no, it's behind you. Behind you, silly goose. Silly goose. Oh my, okay. Well, look, down here. Oh, sorry, it's down there. There you go, good job. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this stuff in. He will find it. The fish can have what they want. And this one, oh, this one broke. So I'm just gonna like dump this in. It's his water anyway, by the way, if you guys are wondering. I do this in his water, so I'm not. Oh my. So uh, yeah, there's Nardo, there's his fish which as you can see, have made a breeding population. That's why there's these teeny tiny ones. Yay. And every once in a while I go through and I take a few of his fish and I sometimes put them in my beta tank, depending on how many fish are in the beta tank at the moment. There you go, see? I knew he'd find them. Oh, is that one a little tough for you? Yeah, do that one, there you go. So there is that. Okay, so don't mind how loud his filter is, but I'm now going to feed my beta fish argon. Sorry, you can see my phone glaring. But um, yeah, that's about that. He's just getting some of his pellets. Now we are going to feed my other beta fish, which if you cannot tell, their tanks need clean soon. It's my this weekend plan. Do aquatics on the weekends. Um, cause it takes hours and hours. But um, so yeah, that's him getting his food. Also, yes. I put extra in because I have shrimp, snails, and minnows along with him. Where are they? Along with minnows in this tank, in both of the tanks, actually. So, yeah. So, I just missed it down and fed the baby snails. If you didn't know, my land snail, Margo, had babies. You can see one there, one there. Let's see, uh, 
one there, one there, and then I believe there's some more in the back somewhere. Uh, I'm not really sure, but um, so her babies are in here at least. Oh, look, there's two. There's two there. Okay, well, my camera's not focusing, but whatever. This is the baby snail. And close your... Oh, hi! Oh my gosh, just focus. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Um, so this is the baby snail enclosure. What is wrong with my camera? Hello? Okay, there. Um, they're not in the big enclosure because they can fit through the screen on the top, and I really don't want escaped baby snails everywhere. So they are right there, and I have to miss down. So they are right there, and now I have to miss down the big tank. So I've now misted and fed the big snail enclosure, big snail enclosure because it's only a 10 gallon. But um, there is one of the snails that is Tito. I'm not exactly sure where Margo is, but that is okay. Sorry, I was looking for her. But um, so yeah, this is the snail enclosure. I scatter feed them some veggies and stuff. So that's that. It's listing down Echo's enclosure, so I'm pretty much done for right now. Um, everybody's been fed, everybody's been misted down. So that's kind of my morning routine slash daily routine. So that's what we got. That is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm not including the nighttime part of my daily routine because of the fact that the animals that do get fed at night both don't get fed tonight. It's not their feeding night. So I'd only be misting down enclosures and that's not super interesting. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below um, what you'd like to see next. And don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss a single upload.